Sasa inaitwa Thomas Korir. Ngaji wa Bomet, baji biashara wa Bomet au. Ah, uh, tumefurahia vile NTSA wanafanya, lakini they cannot sustain. Watakuwa hapa tu for 2 days. Baada ya 2 days the same 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 the same same problem will happen. We have witnessed a lot of accidents, especially at this rainy season. This only when the government realized that there is problem when a lot of accidents happen. But they cannot they cannot they come in for two, three days and they go. The same problem will continue. They cannot sustain the crackdown they have at the moment. They will just finish it, they will be here for two days, they will go, and then the same, same things will repeat. So what we are telling the government is to sustain. Mr. Murugamend, the Minister for the Transport, should collaborate with police service. The traffic system has a lot of laxity. Whatever they are doing is just to please people for just a short time. Then thereafter, they will have leave. And then the same problem will affect the citizen. So we didn't say Kwamba, Serigali, in a banya too, was Gumbili. Father has Gumbili, what a wajah in Maneno, he mamba it at what what a kuva, Nakuna Mutumuyana was a killisa. I thought to raise many problems, many, 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 many problems as much as we can raise. Nothing will happen. Another thing, corruption in police. The reason why there is a lot of problems in transport and a lot of accidents happening is because the police are not doing their work. They will just continue taking bribes and people will continue dying. So what we are telling the government is to have the game and make it as serious as possible. They, will, they should apply Michuki rules and sustain Michuki rules. If they apply and sustain Michuki rules, let me tell you, they will not see these things. But if they continue the way they are continuing, we shall do as much as we can. The same problem. Otherwise, I'm a Serigali. NDSA was sustained, was good for three days. Yeah? Yes. It will a policy, and the, and the parliament of Kenya should actually put it as a policy so that it can be sustained forever. Because if we continue, there are a lot of vehicles coming into the road, and the roads are this, and the accident will continue. So, what I'm telling the government through the Ministry of Roads and the Ministry of Internal Security to take this game very seriously is the way at which the police and the NDSA are operating this operation. They should not be removing number plates for the vehicles and nothing is happening. If you remove number plates and the accident continues, what is the purpose for it? Can you go to the key problem? Leave alone the number plate eh? and deal with the key problem. Solve the problem. What is the need of number plate? Somebody will come to Kotini and I can number plate here and I root here the same problem. So what they are saying, let us be serious in what you are doing. The reason of, the reason of removing number plates in vehicles does not tell you anything. Yeah? It is just like a driver is telling you, come out of the vehicle, you cross the police, and then at the other end of the road, you unabandar your car. The same, same number of people. Yeah? I was coming from Kisi town, Mekujapa, Kuansia, Satatu, Nanusu. To make a hapa, no public toilet, no duka kalibu ya gunua ata machi. People are picking, running number plates, removing number plates, going, coming back, giving others. We don't know the procedure they are using. Are they using the correct procedure? Am I, it is just taking a plate, you get a price, you bring it back again, and you allow these people to go back. This is very, very, very much. The government must reorganize themselves. Where the officers are, they bring public toilets. Also, they consider the time when they take a blade, if it is a case, yes, allow light a case very, very fast, within 20 to 30 minutes is enough. You release the people to go to their own uh, normal business. Yes. Now I don't know when I will reach and I love whether it is midnight or what, because already we are here, we don't know the light, the left the light. My name is Samuel Jumanjaga. I'm from Oyugis, headed to Nairobi. I'm so much disappointed because I'm supposed to, to get to Nairobi by exactly 6. Yeah. Right now I've wasted much more time here. I don't know why this crackdown is here. First of all, it is in the bush. Yeah. We can't access shops. 
Some of us are suffering from ulcers. Where, 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 NTC, where have they always been? Yeah. Removing number plates, this is, will this reduce accidents? These people, are, these people should take more serious things than removing and, taking, and making people to stay here doing uh, nothing. Thank you, sir. My name is uh, Engineer Christine Ogut. I'm a Deputy Director, Safety Audits and Inspections with the National Transport and Safety Authority. Today we have launched an operation to sensitize members of the public on safety issues and also to look at uh, the compliance levels of um, the vehicles, whether they are roadworthy. And one of the things that uh, we look at when we are undertaking these um, safety operations is does the, if it's a public service vehicle or a heavy commercial vehicle or any other road vehicle, any other vehicle, is it um, roadworthy? For the PSVs, the law requires that uh, they have the speed limiters that are transmitting data. Today, most of the PSVs that, um, we, that the police have impounded are not transmitting data. Speed is actually what is the leading killer of fatalities on our road. Speed is contributing to up to 70% of uh, the fatalities on our roads and when the speed limiter is not working what that means is that um, the um, driver is able to speed and when he's speeding and uh, invent an accident occurs then we have uh, very high fatalities we also would like to condole with the families that uh, you know very well we had two accidents this morning one at uh, Ngata Bridge and there was the one that was in Kericho last evening and um, all we are trying to do is we are trying to arrest the safety situation on the country as we look at the data the number of fatalities as we speak now have increased if we compare the same period now and last year the number of fatalities have gone up by five percent and the highest number being pedestrians are the ones who are being knocked followed by passengers and then drivers, and then the border border riders, and the pillion passengers. So I am ready to take any questions. Ini sami kue ni di mita ban.
Ah, não me alega? Não, que é para cá, mas... Ikan barang lewat, ha? Oh, maru banyak.